It's an amazing, an amazing journey. And nobody else in the world does what we do. Nobody else in the world. And to be a part of something like that is, I can't even put that into words to just express. It's an experience though, and it's a journey that I wouldn't trade for anything else that I've ever had to do in my life. It's definitely not an easy task but it's probably one of the most rewarding tasks. It's kind of, you know, amazing to see, you know, your work actually go out into the fleet and actually do what it's supposed to do and uh, kind of leave your hands. It's kind of a bittersweet moment, but it's an honor to, to do a job, a normal everyday job that actually plays a big part in uh, protecting the country. It's an impressive feat from start to finish seem to come together like a puzzle or I look at it like a Lego set. It's an amazing feeling to see it go to see finally. Uh, the team effort here is fantastic. From the painters to the fitters, the welders, the testers, the riggers, I mean everybody comes together and down here on the pier getting this boat to sea trial status is what we all strive to do is get this thing out so the Navy can do what it's got to do and protect our country. I never thought that I would be here working, building ships, but it's an honor and it's an exciting feeling because I've touched this boat, I've worked on this boat, I've put my all into this boat and I just come in here every day, you know, be confident and think about the people that are going to be living on this boat and, you know, fighting for our country. Being a second generation shipbuilder, I live for the challenges that we face every day because those challenges is what make us who we are. You know, a wise scholar always said that the journey of a thousand miles began with one step. And I can't even count how many steps that it takes for us as shipbuilders to build one of the greatest war fighting machines in the world and be able to deliver to our Navy. It's amazing.